heavy as hell. You would think they had a sale on hair across the United States when he died. I'm like, what did this guy do? Okay, sweetheart, uh, how old are you? Guess. Click. He was like, I ain't got time for games. Yo, what up, y'all? It's the Ronnie Ray Show, and we're back again. Dropping the segments. Y'all know the segments. You're fan of the show, you know the segments. We got off my chest. We got remember the classes. We got random lists. We got when I was a SAG actor. And you know we got the shout out portion. Stay tuned. Subscribe right now to the page because the content is constantly coming. Let's go with the first segment. All right. This is off my chest. Uh, the death of Kevin Samuel. Kevin Samuel, man. Women were happy as hell. You would think they had a sale on hair across the United States when he died. I'm like, what did this guy do? <laughs> I know, I watched, I, he talked crew, he talked some shit to y'all. He was telling his truth. But whose fault was that? He had a YouTube channel for years, and he just became popular during the pandemic. So somebody slid on and went, oh, okay, this dude just saying whatever to these women. But it was his truth. But yet at the same time, y'all ass didn't have to watch. You didn't have to tune in. You didn't have to challenge the machine. That's what they were doing because he'd be cool as hell. Like, he had something. He took a psychology class. He knew how to play y'all last. Okay, so what's the problem? Well, one girl was like, uh, I don't like my husband no more, and I'm going to go back to my ex. So the guy you're married to, he takes care of you? Yes. You don't have to work? Yes. I don't have to work. And you're like, oh, okay, well, so why are you going back to this loser or whatever? So what? Do um, the guy got a small dick or something? And then she hung up on him. I'm like, wait a minute. You asked for this. You asked for this. I'm not condoning all the shit that he does. This is fucking great, but it's his show. You don't have to call in. All y'all women get on there and be mad. He asked one lady how old she was. <laughs> he like, okay, sweetheart, uh, how old are you? Guess. Click. He was like, I ain't got time for games. Just tell me, how old are you? Because <laughs> apparently you ain't grown enough to even tell me your damn age. I was like, wow. He didn't get dudes too. He didn't care. Guys call in. Guys like, oh, man, you know, I just don't trust these women out here, man. What I need to do? Kevin like, okay, um, nigga, how much you weigh? He's like, oh, I'm about, uh, I'm about three, three, three twenty-five. <laughs> He's like, okay, how tall are you? I'm about, um, about five, eight, five, nine. Oh, so you a fat fucker. That's what you are. And dude like, hey, what the fuck? You know, I'm like, damn, Kevin going in on this guy. So, so what do you do for a living? Uh, you know, I make like probably like two hundred dollars a week. And uh, he said, well, so, okay, now you got a big dick, man. And he like. What? You like you got a big dick? So if you got you got a small dick and two hundred dollars a week and you're a fat fucker, you don't need no goddamn woman. I'm like, wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey man, it's coming to me. You go into his you go into his arena. You gotta take what he give you. Vivica Fox is mad. Vivica Fox is mad because he cussed out Vivica Fox. He like, oh, you what you been? In the game, 30 years, you still playing the same role? Like, get yourself some business. I was like, wow. So when he died, what's the nigga? Like, she ain't show no sympathy. Well, he dead. Pretty much good riddance. It's karma. Wow. A black man dies. And it's karma? Because he been talking shit on a regular basis for two years? Crazy, man. Kevin Samuels, raised by a single mom. He beat stage, uh, stage three cancer. Born in OKC, this guy's out here trying to strive. He was nice as hell on the early videos. You watch it, okay, people, we're going to try and get this. Man, as soon as he started getting mean, playing the billy, people started getting in on him. So he figured the game out. You can't get mad he wanted to be the Joker, not Batman. But then the day I found out he died, I look on Atlanta, and he on TV. I'm like, no, this dude ain't dead. Kevin said he was forever. No. <laughs> Rest in peace, man. I didn't agree with everything you were saying, but you had some points, but it was your truth. And it's like, people who got a problem with that, that's y'all thing, because you tuned in to a show. It's kind of like the Steve Harvey show, Steve Harvey uh, Strawberry Letter thing. Man, why y'all keep sending them letters? Stop sending them letters, because every time you're going to say something wrong, Steve like, see your dumb ass every time. I don't even listen to the damn show no more. He does it every day. If you don't want get to get your feelings hurt, don't tune in. Rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. I wasn't a big fan. I wasn't a fan like that. But hey, man, it's a black man that did his thing. He passed away. So rest in peace, bro. I'm cool. All right. Here we go. Remember the classics. The classics. The classics. The classics. Man, let me tell you something. We going, we going to the root. The root of my comedy. My comedy, my comedy life started here. 
six years old, I saw this guy on SNL. And I'm like, I want to be like him. That's the guy. That's the dude. And he went on for a minute. And next thing you know, he does a movie. And he does another movie. And then he did this concert. He, His name is Eddie <laughs> Reagan Murphy. <laughs> Eddie Murphy did the comedian album. He did the delirious special first. Now, I'm six, seven years old. We didn't have cable yet in Chicago. No cable. But Milwaukee had the cable. So I go to Milwaukee probably like Labor Day. My cousin James, like, he re repeating some of the lines. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, Tito, give me some tissue. I'm like, oh, what's that? He's like, man, Eddie Murphy, you ain't see that? He got a concert? He does stand he does, he does that too? Like, wow. I didn't know he did stand up. I didn't get a chance to see it, but the album came out. <laughs> and I couldn't ask my mom to get me that for Christmas. But I got her to buy it for my uncle who lived in the same house so I could listen to it. <laughs> uh, he probably don't even know that. He probably, what the hell, bro? So she bought it. And I'm looking at it like it's mine. <laughs> it's totally like, yeah. We got it, man. Christmas. We stay up to midnight. We sit up all night. They played it. Crowd screaming, Eddie Murphy. And he comes out. And I remember when he did Jackie Gleason. He did The Honeymoon. I thought... They were there. Like, he does that shit so well. I'm like, wow. Is that them? You know what I mean? So I'm listening to it. And it like, it changed my damn life. I think anybody that does comedy now, after that came out, owes Eddie Murphy like a dollar every fucking day they get on stage. Because this is why a lot of people do it, man. I should not have known those bits at seven, eight years old. I, I, I can hear one line and I can tell you the whole thing. Cause that's how much I studied this dude, man. Tracks on there, the AIDS bit. He did the AIDS, the AIDS bit. Like, what, what was that? Like, I didn't know what the hell that was. The AIDS bit. He had the ice cream bit. Like, my mom loved that. My, aunt, my grandmother used to love that bit. The fart game, dude. It was extended on Delirious. They cut it out on the album. I'm like, what is that? A G.I. Joe swimming. A man, come on. 22 years old. Killing it. Killing it. The only one in his lane, killing it. Favorite tracks on there, man. Gotta be the singers. Eddie did probably like nine singers. Uh, Luther Vandross, he said uh, Mick Jagger, he did Michael Jackson, he did Elvis Presley, he did Stevie Wonder, he did James Brown. Damn! You got all this shit in your pocket? 22. I'm 40 fucking seven. <laughs> I'm like, we ain't touched this guy. This is why he's one of the greatest of all time. The racism bit. I'm seven, eight years old. You know, when I heard him say that shit, I wish I was a slave. I fucked up my dog. Shit, tell me to bail some motherfucker. I've been on the street and shit. And you're like, yo, nigga, a bell this time. I'm like, suck my dick, man. Yo! <laughs> yo! I'm like, I'm seven. And I'm like, I can see them niggas on the corner. He said, I would have gotten my motherfucking Lincoln and Jordan the fuck off and shit. That, that's comedy. Man, that's comedy. He was so good at that. And then the, the barbecue, the cookout. That bit is like 13 minutes. Who's rocking 13 minute bits? Stand up wise. I don't think the closest one is probably Chris Rock's Niggas and Black People. Damn. Comedy gold, man. A star was born that day. He was already there. When they saw that, it went up here. Eddie Murphy, one of the greatest of all time. And I would love to see him do it. And now Gus is called. My uncle that uh, I, bought the <laughs> I bought the album for is calling me. Impact of the album. The album changed my life. I met him twice. I was at his house twice. I never got in the house, though. <laughs> I never got in the house. I've seen him three times. I'm sorry. Chappelle came back from Africa. Live in a comedy store when I was up there. He came over with Chris Tucker and Johnny Gill. And I got a chance to shake his hand. And he didn't even look me in my face. Oh, thanks, man. And he just walked on. I'm like, damn, that was... He's the reason why we do it. Shout out to Eddie Murphy. Edward Reagan Murphy. <laughs> I don't know if you ever see this, but hey, man, you my hero in a sense. So, next segment. All right, here we go. Random lists. Album covers from the '90s. I can say album covers because back then, right now, we don't have no album covers. You just you you bypass <laughs> all the artwork they put on the covers of these things. Just go to the tracks now. So back then it was appreciated. Like the album covers, like, yo, the album cover was dope. So sometimes you'll buy it just for the cover. Number 10. We're gonna start off with this one. Little Kim's Hardcore. It's not even the album cover that I like. It's 
the promotional picture. That's why it's so low. They should have had that as the damn album cover. Her sitting with the robe on, and she, but uh, man, man, I don't. That's not the cover. It's not the album cover. It would be much higher if that was the album cover. I had that picture in my room, and I was living with my grand, my grandmother, man. And she came down. She didn't tell me. She told everybody else. That boy got that picture. That girl with the thing. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, 20. Number nine. CMW. Music to drive by. This is them. This album cover, man. It was cool and it was scary. Because I think that that was the year that we had like that. It was a drive by. I was in I was, I was in the car where they were shooting up. And this comes out like probably a couple of months after that. It was scary. But the album's dope. It's a shot from over the top. They in a drop top caddy. They driving. In the back are the guns and the album from the shot that you see from the top. Number eight, Midnight Marauders. Tribe Call Quest, Midnight Marauders. Midnight Marauders is dope because they got all these rappers to come in. They, they could have just took their picture off. They had them come in and take pictures to be on the album cover. Classic album cover, and the album is dope. Number seven, Ice Cube, Death Certificate. Why is this cover so dope? This cover's dope because Ice Cube is sitting at the morgue, hand over his heart. He cut the jerry curl off. You look and see the dead body. Who's the dead body? Uncle Sam. God damn. You're talking about anti-society anti like, yo, fuck y'all. Kill this man. Number six, by far one of my favorite West Coast albums of all time. I gotta say it, this guy is bigger than those those Corona commercials. Him working with Martin Stewart. This guy is all over the damn place. He's probably one of the most popular people in the game right now. And some people forget he raps, but nah. Snoop Doggy Dog, Doggy Style. Animation style, cousin made it, cousin Joe Cool made it. Ah! He over the top, he trying to grab some ass. Going in the doghouse. This album kills it. Love the album cover. One of the dopest ever. Number five. Is return to the 36 chambers. Oh, dirty bastard. Oh, damn. He put his welfare card as the damn album cover. Come on. Who does that? That's the promo. He on MTV. He in the limousine going to the welfare office. Who thinks of that? Oh, dirty bastard. Rest in peace, ODB. Number four, the ghetto boys. We can't be stopped. Who's going to duplicate that? You can't duplicate that. Hey, this has Willie D and Scarface on the side with Bushwick Bill on the gurney. Standing up after he shot himself in the eye with the bullet showing. Somebody asked Scarface, I like, yo, we were at the hospital. We both showed up at the same time. And the guy was like, yo, yo, y'all get on the side of him. We're going to take a picture of this. That's your album cover. Word on. You ain't never duplicating that. Number three. The classic, man. Five star. I gotta give it four and a half because I don't like it. It's mute something to dance to. I just don't like that song. It didn't belong on the album, Drake. Straight out of Compton. Yo, hey. Now, <laughs> this album, I remember seeing it. I'm like, what is this? They just standing over the camera. I didn't pay attention. Easy, he got a damn gun. They let you know what you're about to witness it. No saying. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. That, that's, that's a cold ass album, yo. We're gonna be standing over you with a gun. And this is life right now. This is what it is in Compton. Number two, all-time 90s album covers. Fear of a Black Planet. Man, if you look at it, it's like, yo, that's art. <laughs> they got the planet, and they got the black planet with their logo. That is frightening. <laughs> it gets no props, man. I want that in my career. We don't need to put that on the wall somewhere. I want a shirt or something with that on it, man. That That is powerful, man. Honorable mentions. <laughs> Wu-Tang, 36 Chambers. I like it, but when I saw it, I wasn't that okay. They ain't got, they can't see their face. I thought it was dope. The album is, is amazing. I love that album. Outcast is joints. All those are dope. The Tupac. I ain't got Tupac me against the world, which is great. Um, picture, period. I love that. And y'all probably like, where Biggie at? Where Biggie at? Hey, when you hit number one, you know why I ain't gonna put Biggie on there. Biggie's thing was was great, but it's not, it was not original. Cause you know what, you know what number one is now. Number one, 
Nas Illmatic. Nas Illmatic. I'm putting my kid. I'm putting a picture of me as a kid growing up in this behind me. Man, that speaks down. How many people don't put baby of itself as a younger person on the cover of their albums after that? Everybody. Even I did. Out of my sister part one. <laughs> like, what is this? This kid doing curse. Dude, everybody copied that. That was the trend. That's like the rich prior of fucking album covers. Everybody copied that. So, yo, Illmatic, number one. What you think, people? What do you think, huh? I know y'all gonna complain like, oh, man, we're, 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 we're on Vanilla Ice and Hammer. Hey, they ain't make the list. They were out in the 90s, though. So let me know your favorite album cover, um, rap album cover from the 90s, man. That's my list. Let me know what you think. Next segment. I'm a SAG actor segment. The Eve show. Eve, Eve. I, was, I got a call from Central Casting. Like, hey, we need you to come down and play J.D. Kiss's Entourage. I'm like, what? Okay, bet. Well, bro, what's up, black? Whatever. So I wear my shit. I wear my stuff. I walk in. Hey, I got it on. And they were like, uh, hey, he, he, he said he got his own entourage, so we don't need you. And then somebody like, hold on. No, 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 no. You're going to stay. Okay, I'm so sorry we brought you down. We're going to have you come and stand in line. And you're going to shake his hand. We're going to make sure you're on the camera. And they had me go change my shirt. they like, yo, pick a shirt out of this thing in the wardrobe, right? So I'm looking at the shirt. And Eve walks by. And she has an attitude. She's mad about something. But, man, she got a dress on. I will never forget. I'm like, yo, I'm a fan. I did not know she had an ass like that. I'm like, yo, I like this show. They need to keep me on this motherfucker. But anyway, I grabbed the shirt. They gave me some great shit. I'm like, yo, they're like, yeah, that's what you wear. So you shoot the shot, and I'm on it. And Jada Kiss came through with his entourage. So I'm standing in line, and we were about to shoot. So we shoot this scene over and over. When the scene we say action, they come out. I see fine ass. I see uh, Ali Landry, real beautiful ass. I see cute ass. Natalie, rest in peace, Natalie Reed. And then Sophia Regara comes through from, from Martin Family. She was like young back then. I'm like, God damn. I had to play it off as an extra. I'm sitting in the back chilling. So they doing their lines. And then Jada Kiss comes in. And they're like, yo, when he comes through, make sure you shake his hand. And I shook his hand. I'm like, yo, what up? And he smelled like weed like a motherfucker. But yo, one of my favorite rappers ever. <laughs> My man, Jay the Kiss, pops. My fam, I told my family I was on the E show. They went nuts. Like, they're like, yo, you on the show? I went, what did come on? I don't have any lines, but what did come on? We're going to watch it. Man, I watched that show. That is by far, not because I was on it. It's probably my favorite episode of the series because everybody was funny. Like, everybody was funny on this. It's DJ Fine. <laughs> that shit is classic. God. They like, yeah, you was on it. I see you on it. But I'm like, it's extra work. What the hell? What? To see it now, it's like, damn, man. Like, you were right there. They didn't pay me that much for it, you know, compared to other stuff. But I was happy to be there. And I'm glad they called, man. So, hey, salute to that. Good times. Makes sense. All right. Shout out today. Shout out today is to my guys in the improv group called Pimprov. Now, like, what the hell is Pimprov? Pimprov is these guys who come out. Dress like pimps and do improv. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? You know what I mean? Play it, it's summertime. It's yeah. 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 Grass is green and shit. Yeah. 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 Warm outside. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm indoors. I'm still wearing two coats. Why is that? Why is that? Why is that? Why is that? Why why is that? Why is that? Why is that? Because I'm so cool. <laughs> They got intros. They introduced themselves at the top. Hey, 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 first thing is for the second image for money, nigga. Yes, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. T's and B's mm -hmm. and the rest of y'all minuscule hoes. Uh -huh. like that means short and stature not worth my motherfucking attention. Ah. Allow me to picture this Wait. myself. Mm -hmm. okay. See, I go by the name of Prince Midas because uh, I, I step P with the golden tub. Oh. Oh. See, I like gold because it looks like honey. Uh -huh. yeah. Scenes. They bring a girl up later. They 
play her life back is some of the most major shit I've ever seen in my life. In Chicago, this show is the hottest show on Friday. And by the time we put this up, it's going to be done because the place they do the show at is closing down. If you've seen it, you know what the hell I'm talking about. This show was created by my man, Mars Tams. I think Jonathan's one of the guys. Well, Jonathan Keaton is one of the guys. Good friends with both of them. I know Mars since um, 98. We started around the same time. It's, it's an incredible show. And people come, been coming for years. They've been at the CIC Theater for 14 years. I think the group has been together for 18, 17 years. And I'm there so much. I open for them. And even if I'm not working, I just go and I sit in the back. I bring family. I bring dates. Come check this out. It's always different. It's always amazing, man. These guys are some of the funniest people that I ever seen. So like these guys have chemistry. It works, man. And I've never seen anything like it. I think it's probably some of the most amazing forms of um, comedy I've ever seen in my life. All the members. Let me see if I can remember the members. Uh, shout out Mars Timms, Jonathan Keaton, uh, Mark, Keith, Maddie, Warren, uh, Ramon. Alex, Greg, um, Chucho, my guy, Skipper, Joe Boyle, Marquise, Yogi Marquise Olison, my man. Who else? I'm forgetting somebody? I'm forgetting somebody. I'm forgetting somebody. Let me go. Oh, no, my bad. He's the most famous one of all of them. Chris Red. <laughs> Chris Red SNL is a pimp. Y'all ain't know that shit? Chris Red is a pimp. Oh, if you missed it, you missed it. They'll be back. But in that spot was something special. It seemed like that spot was made for them. So, shout out to all those guys, man. They have entertained many of Chicagoans who came through. Hit them up on IG, man, and just say, hey, man, I heard the show was dope when y'all do it again because you need to see it if you love comedy. So, when it comes back, hit them up. Salute to Sarah, Sarah, Eric, Mike, and all the rest of the bartenders. That was giving me drinks half off. Because <laughs> when I was drinking, hey, Rodney, what you need? I walk in. I was there so much. They just slide me a drink down the thing like some old damn cowboy shit. All right, that's it. Hey, subscribe. Share. Matter of fact, watch, laugh, subscribe, share. I want it like that, okay? Do that, and we'll be cool. You know what I'm saying? Share this. And if you hate the show, send it to people you don't like, as we always say. So, hey. Thank you for getting here. I appreciate you being on here. We got more content coming. Hit us up. Subscribe right now. 